Hello everyone, it's Marcia from Then and There. I have another journal that I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, this is another one of my um, soft cover journals. And it is very um, grungy, let's call it that. It's very grungy, rustic. Um, the theme of this journal is, um, well it started out being abandoned places and now it has it has changed to more of a um, uh, I'm not really sure it could be called it could be called decay it could be called rust it could be called um, all kinds of things I think the name that I am gonna stick with is reclaimed because a lot of the things in this journal and the theme of this journal is stuff that um, it's no longer being used and would go to, it could, would just go to the dump or the trash pile or what have you and would not be used anymore. So I've reclaimed it and used it in this journal. It's also about things like abandoned buildings and um, homesteads and things of that nature that are often seen in rural places it's like where I live I live in rural Kansas and it's nothing to be driving along the road and see a, an old farm homestead that is just left to um, just to be reclaimed by nature or just to be reclaimed by the elements and um, I find beauty in those things I like stopping and taking photographs of those places and just thinking about the history of those houses or those barns, whoops, those um, things that I see. I, I like to just think about what could have been there, who may have lived there, things of that nature. <laughs> okay, so we're two minutes in and um, I think I'm done telling you what the theme of this is. So in saying that, the photographs of um, old um, falling down places are my own original photographs, photography, that I have printed and put in the journal. Um, I can't think of what else to tell you <laughs> ahead of time. So we'll just get into it. I have just really grunged up this um, piece of muslin here that I've just tied it, it closed with. And it's just inked and dyed and just made to look all old and dirty. Um, the cover is faux leather. It has been sewn with um, Brian not reinforcement, what's it called? Um, interfacing to reinforce it to give it some strength and stability and it was sandwiched with some um, canvas fabric for the interior and stitched all around. I'll show you the stitches. It has two different stitches here. It has a straight stitch as well as a zigzag stitch and I left the canvas frayed along the edges. I like that look. On the cover is um, one of those, it's like a cabinet uh, pull, like a handle plate. The handle is obviously not there, but the plate is. And I have tied, just with a piece of twine, an old key. Um, it's not a reproduction, it's an actual old skeleton key. And it has the numbers and the name on there. Um, this is just attached with some brads through the fabric. This is a... Um, I, it's a collage, I guess you could call it, that I created. I um, crocheted some lace to, um, for the backing. It's like a lace doily. I put a wood um, disc on and I covered it with paper and glossy accents. And in the glossy accents, I embedded this rose, which um, was an old earring. Um, some of the coloring, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is still on there. It's got some blue and green on there. And this is an old piece of um, jewelry as well and the chain that it was attached to I just wrapped around. And so it is well embedded in there in the glossy accents. And also is some more chain. This was all to the same necklace. Um, and I just left these to hang down um, on the original chains. So that is the cover. The spine, it has three signatures sewn directly into the spine. On the back of the cover, 
I just did a little collage here and I used or stamped the word reclaim um, with some lace and some um, grungied up muslin. <laughs> okay, when we go into the journal, there's a large pocket here in the front cover with this just a tag with some um, eyelash trim. <laughs> this is one of my photographs. This is one of the old houses that I um, photographed and I love the, the, it was the time of year where the plants are um, uh, dying for fall. <laughs> I turned it into a black and white photograph and I inked that up, put that in there. A pocket, this is some music here, it says sweeter as the years go by. This I got from a book um, about pioneers and I will let you read that if you choose to. It has to do with pioneers and their strength. I would like the beginning of it. I'll just go and read this part. It says, the cowards never started, the weak died on the way, only the strong arrived, and they were the pioneers. Um, and it talks about a pioneer and um, his some of his life as he lived on the plains. Um, this was a coloring page that I coffee dyed um, later layered um, that on there. <laughs> Got some a cutout here that I um, colored and stitched on. I can't think of the word. I inked it up. <laughs> okay, I can't think. Got a little collage here. This is a tuck spot. It's just a coffee dyed index card that I stamped little moments on. Some stenciling here. Um, looks kind of like bricks. Sewn on a uh, hand carved stamp, um, just some paper sewn on. This was a, a map page. There are a few digital stamps in here that I got from Graphics Fairy, and a, la a lace tab with just a bobble and a charm. This is a vintage bead. Um, some stamping for detail tuck spot here with just some extra coffee dyed paper in it for journaling as well as in this tuck spot same thing and I did a stamp on that some more stamping this is another digital stamp and on here I have clipped an envelope and I rusted up some binder clips and paper clips and used those in the journal because I thought it went with the the rusty grungy feel and this just has some coffee dyed paper in it for journaling and this is also stamped with some trim sewn to it you can hear you can hear the rust in that <laughs> got some stamping on the envelope as well stitched on some paper a um, stenciling of an owl and um, stitched um, on some book paper and sewn sewed that on this is another one of my photographs and another one of those really rusty paper clips <laughs> I like this picture. There's a lot going on in this picture. You have the exterior looking in and you can see that beautiful um, window on the interior looking back out and you can see reflection in the glass and just a lot of stuff going on in that picture and I love the colors of these two together. This is one of the digital stamps. Here I did some paper collage here, some um, coffee dyed paper to journal on. Another tab. Some more collage. The other side of the map page, another digital stamp. This is just a ribbon sewn on to make a tiny little tuck here. Some stamping, a little collage with a, a tag and some coffee dyed paper. Some more stamping. Another pocket. This is another one of my photographs that I turned into a postcard and inked up. And um, just put it in the pocket here. <laughs> Got what I was going to say. Here's a collage that I sewed onto um, cardstock, um, some music paper, and some stenciled paper there with a little bit of um, gilding wax. Bitter with the, the bitter with the sweet. This is a decorated. Can't get it back on there. Decorated um, just paper clip with an old button and some lace and fabric. That is all messed up. I will. You know what? I will mess with that later. An old playing card. This is a sticker of a rusty element. 
another one of my photographs that I, I played around with on the computer. I edited it. Um, it's just an old farmhouse looking in a window. Made it black and white. More digital stamping. A pocket here with a tag in it. So another one of those coloring book pages. Some stamping. A little tuck spot here with just a journaling card. Oh, on the other side of the tuck spot I have a skeleton leaf just sandwiched between two pieces of wax paper and stitched around and I added um, a stamp here that says captured. Don't want to break that. Here's a little fabric flip that I did and I sewed on another um, uh, crocheted flower with a vintage glass button on the inside and this is a um, <laughs> what's it called? A hairpin, a bobby pin, basically. It's a, an older style one, and I just sewed it on with, in with the flower and the button. A little tab. This is a um, wax paper pocket with another coffee dyed index card, and I did some stamping on it. It says Marvelously Ordinary. Um, some more paper collage here, and I sewed those on. This paper I found in an old book that I got from the library. It was one of those, they were cleaning out the library and they were giving some of the books away. This one, it says, please see Mary, sign and pick it up. I just, it has no relevance to anything. It means nothing to me or probably anyone else anymore, but I just liked that and didn't want to throw it away. A digital um, stamp there of a frame. This is some watercolor paper and I got inks and dyes and um, watercolors and just really, <laughs> really grunged that up and it looks a lot like the rust and patina that you would find on old metal. Another one of my photographs and I have a thing for windows, <laughs> windows and old buildings looking out a window. Um, got a glass bottle there and a broken out piece right there. I just, I don't know, really like those kinds of things some collage down here. This is a page from an old book from 1906 and it is an old building that has um, had a fire go through it and um, destroyed it and it's just in ruins and there's another one on the other side. Put that in there. Another one of my photographs in this fabric tuck here. I have just some old gears. Um, I should have I wish now that I would have kept them their original rusty color because they were a beautiful rust color like this. Oh, and I sewn it onto some more watercolor paper that I used inks and um, dyes and stuff on. Some stenciling, stamping, There's a tag in this pocket. This is also one of my photographs of um, the old tin um, ceiling tiles and they have a beautiful patina on them. A die cut here. Here's another tab with a heart locket that's really rusty pinned on there. It's a digital um, stamp, sorry, of an old letter. Some more collage, stamping, copy dyed paper, another pocket with um, copy dyed tag in it. Um, collaged, just sewed some um, pattern paper on the edges there. Coloring paper, another one of those stickers of the rusty elements. Here's an owl. I did some gesso and um, inking and collage on an old book paper, book page, and sewed that on. A pocket here with an old book page and some just uh, scrapbook paper. It says the meaning of duty. And just a journaling card or a photo mat. There's a little, this could be used as a tuck spot. It's just a little tab or, sorry, label sewn on there. A pocket here with some um, textured paper. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got like silver. Um, uh, <laughs> they're raised. The dots are raised. <laughs> don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Another one of my photographs, this is looking out a window through a broken window. This is just some old, this is some vintage writing paper that I, um, I grunged it up, I believe this was with acrylic paint. 
just let it run down. Um, just a tab here with some pattern paper. This here is a tea bag that I stitched between the pages of an old book page. Um, this was, I just saw this today on uh, Tracy's channel with this stamping and I had to of course go and make one. <laughs> I actually had the tea bag I wanted to incorporate into this journal already and didn't know how I was going to do it or wanted to do it and she inspired me. So it says notice the details and it has a butterfly on there. Just an old handwriting sticker with some masking tape, some inking. This here has some text stamp um, on it just for detail. Music paper, old um, shorthand book page. This is a book page from an Ideals magazine. Some stamping. A little pocket here and another one of my, um, this is an old barn that I took a photograph of. Some collaging here with a thesaurus page. Just some more strips of pattern paper. Some more stenciling here and inking. Some um, yarn, it's like a net type yarn stitched on there. Some writing paper sewn on. Another die cut which I inked and um, inked the background as well. Another one of my photographs that I inked around. A lace tab, some more inking, the other side of the handwriting practice sticker. Another rest, really rusty paper clip to hold this envelope on. And there's some stamping, which I just sewed on some fabric and inked around it. And it has some coffee dyed paper in there for journaling. And the other side you can see of that paper that I gunged up. Some more writing paper. This could be used as a tuck spot and a tag for journaling. And there's the back of, oh, lots of strings, there's the back of the book. This one has approximately 150 pages in it. It will be listed in my Etsy store, of course, and you can check out all the other details. Um, do please um, like and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.